Welcome to the 31st edition of Christmas Lights Across Canada. We're your hosts. I'm Derek Fage. And I'm Catherine Marion. Are you excited? I am so excited to be here. Look at this crowd what tonight. What an incredible... This, I have to, I'm waiting to hear about it. It's got to be the best crowd that oh, they've had in years. Guaranteed. And sure. the, the exciting part, there's a lot of new things that are happening. For yes. those of you who don't realize, it launched back in 1985. Mm -hmm. And it was really just to light up the capital. But yeah. it has grown since then. That's right. Every province and territory lights up at the exact same time we do. And it's land, different landmarks across Confederation Boulevard. And this year, another 100,000 lights That's right. More than last it. year. So you can just imagine how much more brilliant and beautiful it's going to be this year. And, of, co of course, as we said, there is so many people here. They give away free beaver tails and yes. free hot chocolate. People have arrived early to enjoy it because we've got some fabulous entertainment here tonight as well. And one of the most exciting things, I think, this year is the fact that they're doing a multimedia yes. projection show, Lightscapes, that are, that's going to be projected right onto the Parliament buildings. And they're going to run that throughout the entire duration. The entire season. Now, if ever you're around the area and you want to drop by and see them, the lights do, do go on until 2 a.m. That's right. Every day until January, well, technically it's January 8th. That's right. Because 2 a.m. brings us to the 8th, but you'll be able to drive by or walk by and come visit right up until then. And as we said, some amazing entertainment here this evening. Canadian soprano Misha Brugers gossman will be performing here tonight, and she's going to be performing with a local youth choir, which is That's so right. exciting for the choir because she has just exploded onto the scene years ago and what a superb woman and an incredible voice yes, on and Misha. talent just a great talent yeah. so we're lucky to have her here with us tonight as well have you been down here with the kids during uh, the illumination we, I think ceremony? we've done it once before a long long time ago when they were really little and uh, mama doesn't like the cold so, <laughs> so I haven't come back a whole lot and That's this okay. year I thought this would have been the perfect year because it it's just glorious out here tonight yeah. And when I mentioned across Canada, different provinces and territories, they actually have light up their capital cities. Yeah. So various landmarks in their capital cities will be lit up as well. That's right. It's going to be beautiful. And we'll be able to watch the show all across Canada. That's right. We're going to throw it to our main stage. Enjoy Christmas lights across Canada. Come on, Seva. How's it going? Good. I'm going to sing a little. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> you ready? Hark how the bells, sweet silver bells, all seem to say, throw cares away. Christmas is here, ringing good cheer, through young and old, meek and the bold. Ding dong, ding dong, that is their song, through everything, all caroling. One seems to hear the words of good cheer, from everywhere. Oh, how they rock. Wonderful song. Let's hear another round of applause for the fantastic Misha Bruger Gosman and the Ottawa Regional Youth Choir. 
Well, a proud sponsor again this year, Manulife, and they're one of the reasons why we have 400,000 right. dazzling Christmas lights here on Parliament Hill and, of course, along Confederation Boulevard. We're joined by a representative of Manulife, Donald Galloin. Donald, welcome to the show. Great, great to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Great to be here. There's a lot of different initiatives that Manulife can reach out to, and we know that you do in many communities right across the country, but why this particular initiative? Well, we support the communities that we operate in around the world, but this one is particularly special because it's in our home in Canada, and it kicks off the Christmas season, and, you know, regardless of what your beliefs are, you know, holiday season is a very special time to be with families. Have you ever been here on the hill to, to enjoy the celebrations before? We have. I've turned on the lights before, and it worked every time, but it still <laughs> fills my heart with palpitations. Let's see. We're, th we're hoping it works again tonight, aren't That's we? Right. <laughs> yes, we have quite a show planned. And tell us about you. How, what are some of the special things that you like to do over the holiday season for Christmas? Well, including me, I'm one of five siblings, Beautiful. and what we, my parents are no longer with us, so we celebrate Christmas at each one's house in, in turn every year and get together, and it's a great family time. Beautiful. Do you have a great memory when you think back of your, your childhood and, or even your own children growing up? Is there a memory that stands out around the holiday season? Well, I remember piles of snow that seemed to be, uh, you know, several <laughs> stories high. I, I think the combination of global warming and uh, the exaggeration of a child, you know, they, they seem to have shrunk over the years, but it was a special time for tobogganing and having snowball fights and all that sort of thing. That's so exciting. Are you looking forward to this evening as much as you do every year? I do. It's going to be a fabulous show tonight and I'm really delighted to see all the people that are gathered here. Yeah, Absolutely. Be an, uh, it's just another amazing turnout here yes. tonight. Donald, thank you so much thank and you. a big thanks to Manulife for again sponsoring this fabulous evening. Well, thank you for what you do as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Et maintenant, j'aimerais inviter le Premier ministre du Canada Le très honorable Justin Trudeau à venir vous dire quelques mots. Bonsoir tout le monde. Thank you, Carol. Thank you to Donald Galloin. Uh, who is the president and CDO of Manulife, who sponsored this event. And thank you also to Misha, to the Ottawa Regional Youth Choir, and to Dr. McCready, our Dominion Carillonneur. Quelle performance incroyable il nous offre ce soir. Merci de nous partager vos talents musicaux. Dans quelques minutes, nous transmettrons des messages de la part des provinces et territoires. Mais d'abord, à titre de premier ministre, Je me joins à eux pour offrir nos meilleurs voeux à tous les Canadiens et à toutes les Canadiennes. Cette année, cette année en particulier, je pense aussi à ceux qui vivront un Noël canadien et un hiver canadien pour la toute première fois. I know that many of our recent arrivals are already familiar with cold weather. I hope they will find it no match for the warm welcome of Canadian communities. I know that many, I know that Canadians often celebrate this time of year by showing their generosity to their family and friends. I trust and I know that we will do the same with our newest neighbors. Because I know that one of our highest callings, whatever our religious traditions, is to love our neighbors and ourselves. I have faith that Canadians will do just that. Not just at this time of year, but each and every day, because that is what we do, and it is who we are. Alors, au nom du gouvernement du Canada, de tous les parlementaires et de Xavier et de ma propre famille, je vous souhaite de joyeuses fêtes, ainsi qu'une saison des fêtes remplie de paix et de joie. Merci. Hi, I'm Kathleen Wynne, Premier of Ontario. My family and I wish you and everyone across the country a safe and joyous holiday season and a prosperous new year. Happy holidays, everyone. Bonjour, je suis Kathleen Wynne, Premier Ministre de l'Ontario. 
De ma part et de la part de ma famille, je tiens à souhaiter de joyeuses fêtes et une bonne et heureuse année à tout le monde au pays. Joyeuses fêtes! Bonjour, ici Philippe Rouillard, Premier ministre du Québec. Depuis 31 ans, la tradition veut que les Canadiens et Canadiennes de partout à travers le pays se rassemblent pour admirer le paysage hivernal de leur capitale, illuminé de milliers de lumières festives. I wish to take advantage of this moment of gathering to wish each of you, as well as your loved ones, a very Merry Christmas, a joyful holiday season, and a Happy New Year. Hello, I'm Stephen McNeil. On behalf of all Nova Scotians, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a safe and Happy New Year. I encourage you to lend a helping hand to someone in need this holiday season, because the holidays can be especially difficult time of year for those less fortunate. May peace, joy, and happiness be yours through the holidays and into 2016. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bonsoir, ici Brian Gallant, Premier Ministre du Nouveau Brunswick. As New Brunswickers, we are lucky to be living in a wonderful country where we are focused on creating jobs and opportunities to better the quality of life for all Canadians. Je vous souhaite tous une belle année, plein d'espoir et de paix. On behalf of all New Brunswickers, happy holidays, joyeux fêtes. Hi, I'm Greg Selinger, Premier of Manitoba, wishing all Canadians a happy holidays. Je vous souhaite une belle saison d'hiver et des moments spéciaux avec vos amis et famille. May the colorful glow of Christmas lights remind us that Canada shines brightest when we stand together in our diversity. Joyeuse fête, happy holidays, Canada. Hi, I'm Christy Clark, Premier of British Columbia. We're usually the last one here on the West Coast to turn on our Christmas lights but we will be watching with everyone else when they come on in our nation's capital because we're all so proud to live in a peaceful, tolerant, and very prosperous nation. On behalf of everybody here in BC, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a very happy new year. Joyeux Noël et bonne année. Oh, mm -hmm. 
of oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy in grateful chorus raise we let all within us praise his own. Hello, my name is Wade McLaughlin, Premier of the province of Prince Edward Island. Bonjour, mon nom est Wade McLaughlin, Premier Ministre de l'Île de Prince Edward. I would like to offer to all Canadians our sincere best wishes during this season. Happy Holidays. J'offre à tous les Canadiens et les Canadiennes nos plus sincères souhaits. Joyeuses fêtes. Hey Canada, on behalf of about 1.3 million Saskatchewan people, Here's best wishes for a very Merry Christmas and a very prosperous and healthy 2016. Hello, I'm Alberta Premier Rachel Notley. Holiday lights draw Canadians together in a spirit of peace, joy and hope. On behalf of all Albertans, I wish you a happy holiday season and a happy new year. Le temps des fêtes unit les Canadiens dans les paix, les joies et l'espoir. Au nom de tous les Albertans, joyeux temps de fête et bonne année. Hi, I'm Paul Davis. Premier of Newfoundland and Labrador. I extend best wishes to all Canadians for a safe and joyous holiday season. May your hearts be filled with the happiness of giving and time spent with those that you hold dear. And let us keep in our thoughts and our prayers those who serve our country abroad, especially at this time of year. Hello, my name is George Tucker, and I'm honored to be the Commissioner of the Northwest Territories. Family and community have always been central to the Northern way of life, and as Canadians gather together to celebrate another year, I take this opportunity to wish each and every one of you a happy holiday season and a healthy and prosperous new year. Joyeux Noël, bonne et heureuse année. Hi, I'm Daryl Pazlowski, Yukon's Premier. From Canada's far north, I send you warm wishes for a peaceful holiday season and a prosperous new year to all our fellow Canadians. May you spend this time amongst family and friends filled with joy and good cheer. On behalf of all Yukoners, I wish you a very Merry Christmas, Joyeux Noël, from my family to yours. Good day, I'm Peter Taptuna, Premier of Nunavut. From my family to yours, I would like to wish all Canadians a safe, happy holiday season. Happy holidays and God bless all. Now is everyone ready to light up the Capitol? Is everyone ready to light up the Capitol? Okay, let's count down together. Dix, neuf, sept, six, five, four, three, two, one.
Christmas Lights Across Canada is made possible through the exclusive sponsorship of Manulife. On behalf of our more than 33,000 employees across Canada and around the world, Manulife wishes you and your family a very happy holiday season. Welcome back to Christmas Lights Across Canada. As we mentioned, the 31st edition, and we're joined by a very special guest, Minister of Canadian Heritage, Melanie Jolie. Welcome to the show. Great Thank to you. have you here. The new minister as well of yes. Canadian yes. Heritage. A, I, I, actually, I, I say it to everybody, I have the best department. You know? I think yes. you do, <laughs> especially yes. after watching this incredible exactly. illumination ceremony. Tell us a little bit of what is the importance of this ceremony to all Canadians? What's well, important to launch a holiday season to organize something that will unite Canadians. And it's it's also a way to showcase an, our parliament and also uh, the story and, and the entire uh, video was done by, and the entire project was done by the Canadian company from Montreal, a video cube, so I'm, re I, I'm really happy of that. And also we added 100,000 new lights uh, and we included all the provinces to the storyline, so. I'm very proud. This is a, a great project. Truly it's, Canadian. Yeah, from very, very Canadian. Canadian. Exactly. Beautiful. And it shows a new era of positiveness. That's right. I agree. We wanted to ask you as well about your traditions. How do you and your family celebrate the holidays? Well, this year will be a special year because it was a very hectic year. So I didn't have a lot of time with my families and, and friends. So I'll try to be very close to them, spend time with them, and also uh, I'm a member of parliament for a, a riding which is called Hansik Cartierville in Montreal and we already have the biggest population of Syrian refugees in our riding. So I'll be there also to make sure that the new people that are joining, also their families, a lot of Syrian refugees will be in the riding coming in. So I'll make sure with my team that we uh, welcome them very uh, warmly and, and uh, that we make that a positive experience for all of us. That is really incredible yeah. because that could be their first, you know, celebration occasion for here sure. in Canada, other than the revival, of course. Yes, and 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 of course it will be their first contact with, with the with, with our winter. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Get them prepared for that. That's right. That's for sure. Exactly. So uh, it's going to be, a, I think, a very uh, symbolic holiday for 2015. Yes. Agreed for all Canadians. Melanie, Beautiful. thank you so much. It's for a pleasure. Us. Thank really you for being it. here. Your new Minister of Canadian Heritage, Melanie Jolie. From all of us at Rogers TV, thanks so much. This has been the 31st edition of Christmas Lights Across Canada.